Hello everyone and welcome back to the Keep Productive YouTube channel. Today we're checking out an app called Arrange. Now think of this like the Pinterest for to-dos. Essentially what you can do is pick something that you might see suitable like for example a 30 day fitness challenge or like a checklist item or remembering birthdays for certain people and be able to add it to your calendar. A bit like sort of the way that you add photos to a board in Pinterest. Um, and it's very visual and basically once you subscribe to them you can keep um, progress on how you're doing with them using the application but also through your calendar so this is currently in beta and i'll talk through a few of the sort of technical stuff um, that you might need to know near the end of this video just before you sign up but at the same time i thought i'd overview it while it's in, in beta sort of the concept and general premise of this application so this is what it looks like when you're inside of it. A very simple sort of display. You have the discover area where you can go to specific categories. So for example, let's say you were like, okay, I'm gonna do a 30 days worth of meditation. This is one that's been created by Headspace, a well-known meditation application. And what it will do is if you were to subscribe to this plan, it begins adding all of these reminders to your calendar so that you don't actually forget them. And you can choose a start date, and subscribe to this plan and essentially what will happen is it will get you embedded in your calendar so that you can get rolling with them now you can choose from a wide variety of categories like home so for example you want to remind yourself of the trash that you need to do make sure you do your weekly email check-in or even do specific eight week tidy challenges in which you can follow through on uh, and save them as your favorites as well so there's a wide variety of categories that you can actually jump into. And as you can see up on the screen, what I was going to talk about a little bit later is actually this application being in beta. Over the last sort of hour I've been using it, I've had two network errors. So I do believe at the moment it's very unstable in terms of its setup. But I'll explain why it doesn't necessarily really impact the experience because Unlike other productivity applications, the main reason is sort of with those applications, if you have some downtime and you're sort of uploading stuff and things like that, it's naturally gonna be causing more of a problem. But with this, you can actually subscribe to a plan and it's embedded in your calendar from sort of day one, which is actually something that's very helpful, right? And doesn't require too much maintenance. So you can actually see all of your active ones and be able to check in on how you're making progress on them and you can go to my tasks and see the progress of the certain ones that you've done so far and as you can imagine you can you can see any upcoming completed or favorites that are there and subscribe to any other plans here now at the moment they do have a wide variety of them but you have to request a new one if you're thinking of one that's not there and the same process goes to the creating a plan there's not a way to create a plan but you can for example follow a form through and the team will consider your uh, recommendation however there are a few that are coming soon to give you an idea of what the plan is and as you can see this pregnancy tracker is built off of the bump which is sort of like the buzzfeed for pregnant pregnancy experiences and things like that but they have a few of these sort of epic gardening for example and you can follow specific plans like planting the springtime bulbs adding the winter mulch and things like that and you can follow through and go on those plans now, who is this best suited for? I'd probably say this is more for those who are people that want to be able to get these concepts into their calendar and be able to just crack on from there and are less sort of complex in the way that they set up their productivity systems. Again, this sort of solves more of a mainstream issue in productivity where if you want to start doing something, your calendar is probably one of the best places to start from that and some of these might be able to help you to get started and uh, keep more accountable to the goals now again i just want to state that this is in beta and this is something that i've i did have no problem setting up before and subscribing to a few plans but i would probably in my opinion steer clear of this until it's fully launched as a concept maybe it's worth checking it out creating an account but then waiting until it's in a more stable condition Although, again, as I said, it's not necessarily a primary issue to have uh, it always working, but at the same time, it causes a few issues if you're trying to get things set up and, and some of your plans going. They do have this feed here, which I quite like, and you can skip ahead to future months on sort of routine stuff that you've planned in, and you can access all of your plans here. So again, feel free to check it out on link in the description, early days for this application, but there's no pricing at the moment. Um, and as you can see, this is how it looks like 
in Google Calendar when you've got everything set up. I'm interested in keeping an eye out on it and let's see where this application goes in the future. Again, I've emailed the team about the network issues so they may be able to come up and sort something like, for example, say like, oh, Francesco, this is, uh, this is just something that happened by chance when you were reviewing this. But I have had a few instances this morning in particular. So maybe it's just been a bad morning, but we'll, we'll see. And hopefully I can add any messages from the team in the comments below. But hopefully it helped you understand this application a bit more. Very cool concept in my opinion, and very great for those who are, are, are much more sort of need some accountability and sort of need a bit of assistance when getting started. Anyway, folks, a big thank you, and I'll talk to you all very, very soon. Cheerio.